Hi, today I have a very short video about modeling in Idea Statica. It's about an anchoring plate with a little bit more difficult pattern of the anchors. My name is Ivan Beles and I'm support engineer for Stia and Idea Statica. Now you see what we will do in this small tutorial. This is a rectangular anchoring plate and it has this pattern of uh, bolts. Usually if you create bolts, then all these bolts which are in these crossing lines will be created. So if you do it on the simple way, then you get all these bolts and, but we need only this rows and this row and, and on the, only, only the rows on the boundary. So that's the goal for this tutorial. And excuse me. So we have the model. I, what we can do, I will copy this connection and uh, remove all operations. Right mouse button. and delete everything, delete, delete, and delete. I did it in German version, this, therefore this, all these uh, names. So first we need this basic uh, anchoring plate. We need a new operation. This is this base plate, very simple thickness, I would say 30 centimeters. So, and on the start, we don't need an circular plate, we need a rectangular one. So I will change it to two profile symmetrical. I think this is, I have the dimensions already on paper, so to not calculate it directly during the video and uh, 300 millimeter offset on the left and right side. We have anchors M24, the length uh, would be 500 millimeters and uh, the top layers, you see this is 50 millimeters. So this is the distance from the boundary of the cross section. So this is this plus 50 millimeters. So we need some different distance. And what do we need? Uh, 200. We need 200, 200. Okay. But as you have seen, I need, oh, sorry. Go to the top view. We need uh, also these bolts on the full boundary. I could try to create here also from top layers minus 200 and uh, 200 again minus 200. But and you see, we get two rows here, uh, two, two bolts, and uh, we can copy it. And if I do it on the another distance, then we get all these bolts. That's okay. It is designed. So we should, oh God, sorry. <laughs> we should, we should remove all these bolts and also these double bolts should be removed. What can you do if you have such changes? And if these are not so much bolts than here, then you can go to the editor. And uh, you can explode this bolt pattern. Then you have single bolts. You can move them. You can change them and you can delete them. Sing single one, uh, one bolt after another. So if you have some small changes, you can do it. It's, it's sometimes quicker than create more, more bol bol uh, bolts patterns. But we do it not on this way. I change it to 200, 200. We can simply add a new pattern. It's not an issue. Right mouse button, new operation, new bolts, new, new bolt grid. And, uh, so the first one, these are not bolts. These are anchors. If we create new anchor, so I forgot to have foundation block offset should be 300 millimeter and thickness 700 millimeter. Okay. The second block anchors, we have 
only for one element and you see this is the new block because we edit new anchors then we get also a new block so we have to change it and we have to say we don't want to connect uh, this new bolt with new uh, concrete block we change it to existing block so we have one existing block and we simply add new anchors and then we have simply changed the geometry 200 200 it's under orthogonal origin origin is at, at it's at zero and we change simply the position should be 403.2 okay it's there and then uh, also on the zero i don't know that we i don't think we do. and we need it at minus 403.2 okay on the second side what can you do here if you have on one side and on another side of your coordinate system you can write 403.2 blank and minus 806.4 so that means this is the relative distance from the last last uh, bolt we go to the left and then to the right this is with blank if you have between the dimensions but you can start each time from zero and then you write semicolon minus 403.5 and then you get go from zero to the left so sometimes you get the dimensions from zero point or from some point you can change the, the origin and then from this origin you can write each time the distances and don't need to calculate the relative distances between the bots so and then we have also the positions and this is 200 and also at zero and minus 200 okay that's all we can copy it and uh, simply copy this one to the first row and this is 4.03.2 and minus 403.2 okay they are finished what we need is are these stefanas this was also the question from the customer this is the reason why i do this tutorial because a customer asked it right mouse button new operation uh, you have to use this one because if you use this widener then you get a message that it's not uh, designed for this type of cross section this is for some edge sections so and uh, what we will do is simply change the radial position i don't change the change the dimensions the angle the full angle is 360 degree and we have division for two four uh, four parts so it's very easy simply then run the calculation and everything is done it passed the check we can check for example the stress with deformed structure and then you see the deformation of your connection and also the stress in concrete whatever you want okay that's all it was for beginners if you don't know how to do it uh, then this is this short tutorials thank you very much